The Common Core is a set of standards designed by elected officials and consultants and implemented by the federal U.S. Department of Education, intended to unify America's diverse schooling. So all students in each grade level are learning similar English, literature and math skills. I think this election will be interesting because, because of the Common Core. It'll give us a chance to see whether an education issue that has really come to the national fore, that has really been talked about a lot in the news, has any effect. I mean, the important thing to remember about the Common Core is um, the governors were really responsible for driving this process. There are 36 gubernatorial elections this year. So those, some of those governors who were originally supportive of the Common Core and have been working towards it may not be in office next year. And the debate over education is impacting local races. I don't have a text with now. When I'm asked who's responsible for these education cuts, it's Tom Tillis and his legislature. Especially the U.S. Senate race in North Carolina, where Democrat Kay Hagan is facing Republican Tom Tillis. He led the effort to cut a huge amount from public schools. It's not Common Core, but it's about public schools. And that is a big focus of that race. That's the race that is more solidly Democratic, in part because that's a race where you can clearly say there's a difference between the two candidates on education. Education in America is supported so by local property taxes of, and run yeah, by state and local officials. The implementation of the Common Core standards by the federal U.S. Department of Education has American voters voting. concerned. People sometimes worry about the federal government being too involved in education. It is obviously something here that is left up to the states to do uh, and then beyond that to municipalities to do. And people have a very intimate relationship with education. They think about their kids' school, their, their own, the actual classroom that they're in. And so they, it's, people feel nervous sometimes about a worry that the federal government is taking too much control about education. The implementation of the Common Core standards also has America's powerful teachers unions worried. If you think of teachers as the front line in the Common Core in terms of making this work, at the same time, uh, the Department of Education was incentivizing states to create high stakes teacher evaluations based on value added assessments, very controversial. Um, that would measure teachers' abilities based on their students' test scores. So this sort of created a very strange situation where teachers were really expected to embrace this and move forward, but were, were nervous and afraid for their jobs and afraid how they were going to be judged. But education experts say the controversy over the Common Core standards disguises a very basic fact. Our utter and total lack of interest and political will in this country to address poverty and its known effects on children and education and economic outcomes. 43 states have adopted the Common Core standards with the idea that all students will meet high expectations and have similar skills and knowledge to attend college or full-time work no matter where they live. But skeptics say this will not solve the inherent problems with American education. And instead of saying that we should look at uh, economic inequality, that we should look at the cratering opportunities in lower middle class uh, job opportunities because the, the bottom has fallen out from those. We are basically, instead of looking at how other nations have effectively used transfer programs to alleviate and blunt the impacts of poverty, what we're basically saying is school needs to do all of the lifting. After the midterm elections, for now, the Common Core standards will remain in place and they will remain controversial. At a time when Americans agree on one point, their elected officials should do more to support education. Priscilla Huff for Telesor in Washington.